day 732 being Christopher Cruz uh it's 10 13 p.m uh my plan was to do the forgiveness stuff and then send out the coaching messages and then work on the, the t-shirt shop it's uh 10 o'clock and all I've done is the forgiveness stuff but it has been amazing like it's taken a long time because I have written this much. So, uh, yeah, it's taken hours, but it's been whew, really, really powerful. Um, I was definitely channeling some stuff like, like God was giving me some wisdom or angels were giving me wisdom or, uh, something because a lot of this stuff was just like, wow. And, uh, the first realization that I had is, you know, I'm, I'm upset at, at people because like, you know, I did this and I did that and I helped with this and I helped with that. And then when I need something, you don't give anything back and this kind of thing. And it was, uh, the message I got is don't take credit for God's work. And the whole message was, uh, hey, all these things that, that you do to change people's lives and to help them and to do this or to do that, all of that comes from God. That's God just using you as a vessel to express his love. And so don't you dare expect anything back from people uh, when, uh, when um, God is just using you as a vessel. Like, you didn't do that, so don't expect anything anything back. And, um, and so then I went into this conversation of, like, so then how do I not get used or walked all over? Man, I gotta read all this. I don't remember a majority of this. I was just, like, channeling this. Um, but the thing that stood out is God taught me that there are two types of yes- there's God's yes, and there's Satan's yes. So when someone asks you to do something, a God yes is a yes that comes from the heart. It's a yes that comes from love. It's a yes, I will do this for you. Yes, I will help you with this. Yes, I will do this with no expectation of anything in return. I will do it strictly from a place of love. That is a God yes. A Satan's yes is yes, I will do it but I will do it coming from a negative place. I'll do it because I don't want to be judged. I'll do it because I don't want to feel guilty. I'll do it because I'm scared. I'll do it, be I'll do it because I want to get paid. I do it, well, I'll do it because I don't want to lose something. I I'll do it because I want people to like me. You know, I'll do it because I don't want confrontation. So that's a Satan's yes. And so there's a big difference between God's yes and the devil's yes. God's yes is strictly from love and there's absolutely no expectation of anything in return and the devil's yes is i'll say yes because of some kind of fear behind that and then when you do that you have some sort of expectation i didn't want to do this but i did it anyway so you should do this and you should do that and then the message i got is save your yeses for god if it is not a god yes then say no because i was like god i don't want to say yes to everything i don't want to be a pushover i don't want to do this i don't want to do that like, I don't want to just say yes to everything. And he made it really clear, save your yeses for God. Because every every yes you say to the devil, you're taking a yes away from God. Because if you say all these yeses to the devil and say yes to all these things that don't really come from your heart and don't come from love, but they come from fear or fear of confrontation or being judged or trying to look good or fit in, whatever it is, what happens is you start to build up resentment for all these yeses. So then when God asks you to do something, when it's a God yes, you say no to it. And that's exactly what the devil wants. The devil wants you to use all of your yeses on him so you don't have any yeses left for God. And I was just like, wow, this is so powerful. <laughs> so save your yeses for God. There's God yeses and there's devil yeses. And they are two very, very different things. One comes from love and one comes from fear. And, and that's the basis of all of it. So, yeah, that was uh, just amazing. 
And so I wrote down some choices that, you know, I've said yes to and things I've said no to and which ones are really yes and which ones are really no. And it's like when you say yes to something and it's God's yes, you are literally being used as a vessel for God to express his love to that person. You know, like when I help someone with their business or I, I do something nice or I say yes to this or yes to that, like that is just God being able to express love through me. It is not me doing it. It's not, you know, me being so great. So there's nothing I should expect back from it because God is doing it. God is God is just using me as a vessel. So that was really powerful. And then I went through all the people in my life that I've been upset at or offended by. And I wrote out paragraphs of stuff. And at the end of all of it, it was, I'm sorry for being an asshole. I love you. <laughs> because really that's the case. Um, and then I kind of wrote, you know, these, these things at the top of each paragraph that just kind of reminds me of who they are and why I love them and, and to focus on that rather than the other things that the devil wants me to focus on that disconnects me from them. Um, and who they are to me. And so, yeah, it, it was so helpful. It's just like the anger, the resentment, the frustration is gone. There's just one, one person on this list that I can't really get. I can't get it. I can't get it. And a lot of the anger and frustration is gone. It's just like, this is the kind of person that I'm just not really interested in having in my life. We just are such different people. And I just, yeah, I don't, it's not someone that I really want in my life. So that's the one I'm struggling with. So I was just praying and it was like, God, just, just help me, like help me remove whatever it is in my heart that's stopping me from just loving this person. And so, yeah, there's only one, but I, I don't really know where to go. So I just prayed for like five or 10 minutes and just was real with God and just, God, help me, help me see what I can't see, help me understand. Um, but yeah, this was super helpful. God's yes versus the devil's yes. And I say yes to the devil way too much. And I need to absolutely stop that because it is not healthy. And it turns the God yeses into anger and resentment and frustration. And that's exactly what the devil wants. So, no. Nope, 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 nope. So this was a intense exercise. It took hours and hours and hours, like three and a half hours or four hours. Um, but it was really worth it. I feel so much more peace in my spirit. So, so that was good. Um, so I'll send the coaching messages tomorrow um, and then work on the shirt shop tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, but things are good. Things are good. I'm super grateful. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you.